Now, if I had extra trade stuff and I had to trade into something, I was forced to trade. I, obviously, right now is not the uh, prime prime time to trade into uh, anything from over the gate watch because the prices are not settled and they typically tend to be a lot higher than they eventually will be two weeks from now. I would trade into these. Uh, the man lands have always been, in my consideration, very good because they present a different avenue of attack than, you know, let's say something else, right? I like the man lands. I think that this particular batch is not, mm, it's a lot weaker. I'm not going to say it's like Celestial Colonnade, Creeping Tar Pit. Those are strong fence lands are strong man lands. These are weaker in my opinion in general. However, they present enemy colors and when you have 10 of them, that's awesome. I, I think that makes them all strong, stronger together because you have the opposites of playing them in decks that didn't have previously opposites before. If I had to pick one of these, and you can comment below, uh, I would say Needle Spiral is definitely not the one I would pick. I, I know that for a fact. I might pick the Femoro. I would have picked it had Twin not been uh, banned, uh, mainly because it used it would have been very good for Twin because Twin always needs fixing. And your first turn outside of Visions, you pretty much have dead turns that you're you need to get up to turn three or four to present that combo threat. And yeah, I don't know. I like it. I think it's actually one of the better pieces for that deck but that deck no longer exists. So I guess we'll never find out. But in a temple, it's pretty cool. I, it is a pretty cool card and it can present more damage for the amount than uh, Celestial Colonnade, which costs five in the land. This costs four in the land and can attack for four. It can also block and be pretty relevant. But I think Hissing Quagmire is the, better, the best version of it. Uh, mainly because of standard. Uh, I feel like it will see a lot of play in standard. The decks that go and play very clearly is Abzan. Abzan kind of needs this card. A 2-2 two -two Death Touch creature <laughs> is that good. Sometimes you need a 2-2 two -two Death Touch and sometimes you just need a Rhino. You need to play the Rhino on your curve. And having another black green source, which is not necessarily a pain land or something like that, helps that deck because it fixes the mana just a tiny bit more. It presents a little more options and Abzan right now is, in my opinion, still the best deck. Uh, yes, people are getting tired of playing it in standard, but it only kind of got stronger from this. Uh, it, get, it got the Hissing Quagmire, which is a huge, huge benefit to it. It got the Nissa, which maybe, we'll see if that actually sees play. I don't it's interesting because I would much rather have something like Abs and Charm or something at the free slot, but Nissa presents a different type of uh, danger for your opponent. And we also have, even to the point of Oath of Gideon, if you're Abs and you're playing four Gideons, Oath of Gideon is really good with Gideon, uh, surprisingly. And I like it. And then you also have Oath of Nissa. So one of the problems with Abs, in my opinion, is your turn one drop is like bad. Is that Abs and like one one dude who can pump himself? That's not what I want to be doing because he's not actually a turn one drop if I'm investing like my turn two into him. Oath of Nyssa, that's going to be really good in this deck. Oath of Nyssa, Oath of Gideon, they're both going to be quite... Uh, I think they're going to be playable in some variant of the deck. And Nyssa herself, a lot of different cards have helped, in my opinion, make Abzan very good. And Hissing Quagmire, you always start with your lands. There's no other way, there's no, no other place to start with. You look at the lands and you say, hey, if you get a slight improvement in lands, that actually is a big improvement because just like fetch lands, why are fetch lands so expensive? Why are they played in every deck? They give you a very slight improvement in your percentages of curving perfectly. Uh, Hissing Quagmire does that to a lesser extent, but slight is okay if it's about the land base.